to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn spears that look like this. So the one we're going to be turning today is going to be a combination of maple, paduke and walnut. So they're just little fun projects these. They don't take particularly long and it's a fairly simple method to make them. Now it does take a bit of practice to get them to be of a good level. So for example the first one I did I think is actually quite nice and it looks pretty spherical but when you look there's a little flat bit there. But you can get better at this just by rotating it round on the lathe and making sure you get every orientation round. But this is an oak one, we've got a resin and bark one here, and then we've got the one that I'm going to be showing you how to make today, which is this maple puduk and walnut one. So the method I use is doing it all on the lathe, just making two essentially drive centres but that hold the ball so you can turn it round in different orientations. But I'll go through that in a video. So without further ado, let's get going. So the first step to the project was to glue up all of the pieces, so I started out by cutting them up. I measured them all and they're about 85 by 85 millimetres, and I just cut them square on the bandsaw. I then marked the centre point and cut them round. My fingers look very close to the blade here, but they weren't actually very close, and you can see this blade is quite big for this, but it did the job, I just took my time and was careful. Once I'd cut out all the pieces, I then moved on to gluing them up, now I decided to only glue three of the pieces up even though I had cut four, as I think four was a bit too big and didn't really work so I'll keep the extra one for another project in the future. I put some clamps on it and left it to dry. So that's an example of how I glue up my sphere blanks ready to turn onto the lathe. So very simple, choose some wood, glue it up and then clamp it up. Now this piece here that I've currently got glued up is just three pieces. I did cut four on the bandsaw, but three is gonna be enough. It doesn't really matter how big you make them because you can chop it down or whatever to make it the perfect size. Now, I tend to do them in batches if I'm gonna make spheres, so I might do five or six in one go if I was gonna glue all the blanks up because then you can cut everything, then you can glue it up and it can become an easy process. But now let's move on to actually turning the sphere and hopefully you guys like the process I use to make it. With the blank mounted between the centers on the lathe, I started to rough it out. Now you can see why I said to make the blank cylindrical, as it takes a lot of this time away from the project and makes it a lot easier, but it is okay to rough it out on the lathe like this, it just takes a little bit of time. So I used a spindle gouge, a roughing gouge and then the round scraper to profile in the rough shape. So the part that actually drives the sphere is this, so this is essentially a piece of wood with a round dish in it and what it does is it supports the sphere like so and it allows it to be rotated around in different orientations allowing you to create that spherical shape. Now these are really simple to turn, I'll show you how I do it now. Now I just used two small scraps of sapili that I had lying around in a workshop, but you can use anything here, plywood would suffice and it's what I tend to use. So I just make sure the piece of wood is nice and round and then hollow out the centre, which then creates the drive centres. So I've got two of them, which I can now mount the sphere between, as you see here. Now what I do is I rotate the sphere around in lots of different orientations and turn away any of the high spots. Now this creates the sphere shape and just takes a bit of time and as you can see I'm constantly rotating it, I'm probably doing about 20 seconds before rotating it. You just need to keep rotating the blank around to ensure that it becomes as spherical as possible. Now you can also do this other ways in a chuck and things like that but I think this is the easiest way. After that I then move on to sanding, starting with 120 grit which gets rid of any of the tiny high spots that may be left. And again, keep rotating the blank around in order to keep it nice and spherical. So I spend the most time on the 120 grit just to remove any tool marks and things like that, then move up to 240, then 320, then 400, and then some of the higher polishing grits. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had an absolute blast making these. They're really, really great fun projects, and they're also really nice to just hold and play around with. And they do roll quite well as well. So I'm going to try and make a few more and put them in a bowl because they're quite nice to have on display and people like things that you can pick up and look at and I think spheres are something really cool because you can use really nice bits of exotic wood that you've got lying around and it really doesn't need a lot of wood. So for example this was just literally off cuts of a piece. This was just a bit of leftover resin with a bit of bark and then this one was just two off cuts of some countertop oak. That one's probably my favourite one, it's really nice to hold got a really nice shape to it and as you can see they roll around quite nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you in the next one, thanks for watching.